Hi, this is Ashlyn with Bellevue Avenue. I'm going to show you how to use our five essential brush on actions. So the first thing you're going to do is load them up into the actions panel. So make sure your actions panel is open. You can do that by clicking on window and making sure that actions is selected. Next, you'll click on the drop down menu and select load actions. In your actions folder, select the action and click load. Now they are loaded up in the actions panel. And if you would like to see the color-coded button menu, just click the drop-down menu and select button mode. In this action set, we have five different actions to choose from. Vibrance, contrast, high pass, sharpen, warming, and cooling. So I'm just going to show you a simple edit using these five actions. The first thing I'm going to do is add a bit of vibrance to the image, and that's just going to boost the color and give it an overall touch of vibrance. Okay, I'm going to set my flow to probably around 20 and just start brushing it on on areas I'd like to see a bit more color. I'm going to add it to her eyes and as you saw I already did it to her cheeks and to her lips as well as her hair and her shirt. Okay, so there's the vibrance Next, I'm going to add some contrast to this image. And I'm just going to brush on contrast. Okay, so you see that nice little pop there. Next, I'm going to run the high pass sharpen action. And this one I'm going to use, I'm going to increase the flow a bit. And I'm going to use it on her eyes and her eyelashes just to give it a little extra pop. I also like using this on hair and on the eyebrows. All right, next we're going to add some warming. I'm going to lower the flow just a little bit and then add it anywhere that I think a little warmth would help. It's beautiful on skin tones to warm up those skin tones. So before and after. And then lastly, some cooling. I don't want to add too much cooling to her skin tones, so I'm just going to add it to the background to add a little bit of um, contrast to the color toning. Cool against the warmth. And I'm just going to lower the opacity on this layer by using the opacity slider. And that's all there is to it. Let's look at the before and after. Before and after. So it's made a big difference with these five simple brushes. And that is how you use the set. You can get creative with it. And the beauty of it is that you have full control over where you're going to apply the effect as you brush it on your image. Thanks so much for joining me and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.